Keep doing. Oh, hey! I guess we're on. This, <laughs> oh, that Joe, he's a crafty guy. He puts that on. Anyway, I'm C.D. Kaplan. Holly Cook, they're R.I.P. So you know what that means? Support your local businesses. Forget the big boxes. Not that they're a bad thing. They, you know. Hold on a second. Support your local businesses. Like, I don't know, City Block Louisville. You know, when you're ready to party, when you want to go have a drink with your friends, when you want to, like, hear a little music, they got all these different things, different kinds of places. It's not just your mama's country music anymore. They're sophisticated, or so they'd say. Anyway, City Block Louisville. Go over to the Ville Voice. Rick and the guys over there. Uh, Villevoice.com. Uh, cover the local news scene, the local media scene better than anybody. And, hey, culturemaven.com. That's me. C.D. Kaplan. And so I'm, we're sitting here talking $700 billion. Okay, what is this? He's pointing at this. this. Who's he talking to? Henry Paulson on the phone? Okay. Where's the money going? $700 million. Give some to the people, okay? Thank you. Okay, here. Talk to the donkey. Alright. Hold on, I'll get to you when I'm finished. Um, any rate, so the economy's falling apart. The candidates are yelling at each other. One day McCain's saying this, then he's saying that, then he's yelling at Obama. I don't know, but just take heed. Don't vote for somebody just because they can feel dress and moose, okay? That's all I'm saying to you. Uh, on the local scene, I mean, my guys here are still with that power. I was lucky. I dodged the bullet, but I know this. lg and &E and these power people from around the country have been working 20... They're like at 2 o'clock in the morning. We came home the other night. They're out there working. So somebody's going to be last. And it may very well be my boss because, you know, karma. Do Don last. Okay. At any rate, so it might be because of the karma. What can I say? Uh, here's my little bitch for the day. Oops, can I say? I'll say that. When you're buying like a little appliance or something, take heed about how it's designed. I bought a, my coffee grinder died the other day, and I had to buy this new coffee grinder, and so I went to a local Leon shop. I won't name it because I'm going to blaspheme their coffee grinder. And so a locally owned coffee place, there's a bunch of them. You know who they are, so you go there. Forget Starbucks. Don't go there. Heine Brothers, Java. There's all the good ones. Answer your phone. Any rate, so I bought this little coffee grinder, and it's, it's got a thing that when you grind the coffee and then you pull the top off, all the coffee falls out all over your counter. So make sure when you buy an appliance that you check out the design and just don't go do it. How much time have I taken? Tell me. Three minutes? Okay. Let's have a pause for a commercial here because, hey, we've been having a lot of fun. I'm going to take my hat off. It's hot under here under the lights. I'm going to... Here's the commercial for CityBlockLouisville.com. This Thursday, which would be September 25th, the Alley Theater Improv Challenge. Live taping show will air on the CW. Ooh. So that's going to be big time. So if you want to be in the audience or hang out with real live TV stars, the Alley Theater Improv, September 25th. This coming Saturday, the Avid Brothers. I know we've been hip and Hanson. They're coming soon. But the Avid Brothers are like the hot southern band. So there's going to be lots of hot young ladies for you guys and, and studly young fellows for you gals. So come on down. You can get tickets here at... Uh, it, I guess you can get them here. you got a ticket office out there down on Jefferson Street, so they'll have tickets. Ticketmaster outlets, Coyote Box Office, charge by phone, 502-589-3850. 502-589-3866. You can call for tickets. October 2nd, Eric Church is live at Coyotes. I guess he's a country guy. He's a country guy. You can see I'm locked into the Nashville scene. So there's your commercial. City Block Louisville. All right. Shout out to the LG&E people. They've been working. Shout out to the American and the Riders Cup. Did we like those Kentucky boys? Kenny Perry, J.B. Holmes. What more can you want? The crowd seem to get my man Joe saved everybody's neck. All the big national networks in his Hummer. He got him across some creek. Apparently it rained out there Saturday morning. 
Who knew it was plenty dry and no power in my neighborhood? So there you go. A sayonara, Yankee Stadium. Good riddance, goodbye. I've been there, it's a pretty neat place. Hold on, don't go away, I'll be right back. Okay, my boss keeps paying, I don't know, he's, he's got something about the mayor, so Chris Anger, he's a friend of ours, a funny guy, he's in the Louisville Improvisers, is that the name of the group? There's no mayor election, but hey, we're wearing the t-shirts anyway, vote with anger. Are you blue? Okay. I don't know why I did this, but when the big boss points his finger and says, do something, I do it whether I understand it or not. He's wearing one today, so I got me a new t-shirt. Hey, life's good. All right. A couple of like little funny notes. Vanderbilt's in the top 25 in college football. Who'd have figured that? All right. Some guy over in J an Australian company, but they're only selling them in Japan, has invented a suit, a men's suit, business suit, that you can take a shower in and it dries immediately. A shower suit. So for you guys on the go, <clears throat> um, coming soon. Uh, the owner is Australian Wool Innovation, AWI. Okay. 170,000 of them have already been ordered. So look for that for you guys who get caught in the rain. No problem. You know, this was a funny gig about like words that are going out of fashion and stuff like big fancy words because people always give me a thing. But you know what? I'm not going there. There you go. So I guess our time is up. Let's see if I talked about everything. Yes. It's over. I mean, what's that? Uh, 700 billion here, yeah, 700 billion there. What is it? Who is it? What is it? Who can compute that high? They said, oh, it might go to a trillion. Probably go to a trillion. All no, no help for John and Jane Q. Public, though. None. I mean, it would seem to me they could just, they could just pay people's mortgages. You know, they could take that money and pay the mortgages. Yeah. The companies would be solvent. And the people would be, you know, instead they're giving it to them and then the, 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 it's going to be the shareholders. You probably own a bunch of stock there and like uh, those companies, don't you?